going on everybody? It's the Gamer Guy here and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to install MechJeb 2.1.1 for Kerbal Space Program version 0.23. Let's get into this tutorial. Okay guys, so the very first thing we're going to want to do is locate our Kerbal Space Program folder. And go to your local disk, Program Files 86. This is for Steam users by the way. Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. And in this Common folder, you'll find your Kerbal Space Program folder. Okay, so our next step is go to kerbalspaceport.com/slash-mechjet. I'll be providing the link <coughs> in the video description. Um, but basically, all you do is click Download. I've already downloaded it, so I'll just go ahead and re-download it I guess and I'll show you where to drag the files. Okay, so let's minimize that. And let's move our Kerbal Space Program folder up over and let's open up our WinRAR folder. And we are going to install the parts and the plugins in that MechJib folder. And what you're gonna do is go to your game data and squad. Now I've already installed all of this, but I'll show you where to drop it. So the first thing you're going to do is drag, or basically open your parts folder and drag the two MechJeb parts. This is the guidance unit and this is the pod. Drag those over your parts. Now I've already added them, so I'm just going to um, replace those files for the next seven conflicts. Move and replace. So now that's all set. Next step. All you gotta do is drag and drop your plugins folder. That's it. Drag and drop the entire folder into your game data squad folder. This exact folder. Okay. So that's pretty much it for installing MechJeb, it's very easy. Again, it's in your squad folder, game data squad folder. You put your parts in your parts. In your plugins, you just drag and drop the entire plugins folder into here. So, uh, another thing you want to check is in your parts, there's a command folder. Uh, I should have all of the parts in here. Okay, If it's not in there, it's in your game data folder and it's basically game data parts command and then you're going to have to drag and drop the command folder into here or all the parts into here um, just to make it easier um, all the parts are located in the same directory it's, it, it'll make MechJeb work much better or work entirely so we're going to go ahead and end the game okay so here we are on the launch pad. Built a little basic rocket here and we're in sandbox mode, not career. Um, if you do want to use it in career mode, there is a way to adjust the cost of the pod and the control unit um, in Notepad or Notepad++ and I will make a tutorial video on how to do that right after this one. So, here we are. Here's our spaceship. We have the MechJeb command pod and the MechJeb control unit. And off to our right here is our MechJeb tab, I should say. Um, and you can do various things. Altitude adjustment, custom window editor, docking autopilot, landing guidance, maneuver node editor. It goes all the way through the list. You could you get some orbit info. Um, this is very useful for doing uh, landings on other planets or just getting straight into orbit. So that's it guys, plain and simple. Um, I'll be making another video tutorial on how to use MechJeb soon, um, but uh, that's how you install it. I'd like to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video, I hope it really helped you out. Um, if you liked the video, go ahead and rate and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any requests, just let me know and I will be making videos promptly to the requests 
And again, thanks for watching.